Hi there, it's Julie here from Thermo Kitchen and today we're making cinnamon scrolls. We start by making a sweet bread dough. So we add 310 grams of warm tap water, 2 teaspoons of yeast and 20 grams of white sugar. Place the lid on the TM bowl and allow it to heat to 37 degrees for one minute, speed one. Next we add 520 grams of baker's flour, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of bread improver, and 20 grams of oil. Place the lid on the Thermomix bowl and combine the mixture by putting it on 20 seconds, speed four. Now you'll find that you have a shaggy, non-cohesive dough. Just scrape the bowl down, put the lid on and go to dough mode. Select the dough function for two minutes and allow the machine to do its magic. After the two minutes, you'll find you have a cohesive ball of dough that's ready to proof. Next, we want to grease a bowl ready for proofing. So to do this, just rub some oil around the outside. Now we're ready to remove our dough from the TM bowl and get it ready for proofing. Use your hands to form a nice round ball with the dough. Smooth over the top and tuck the edges into the bottom before placing it into the prepared bowl. Now we cover the bowl with Glad Wrap and we leave it somewhere nice and warm to proof. The dough should at least double in size, if not triple. Okay, so now we're ready to put together our apple and walnut scrolls. Um, so we've got our dough here, which is beautifully proofed. Um, I'm going to just spray some coconut oil on the bench so it doesn't stick and on my hands. I'm just going to spray this dish. So a beautiful dough. just gorgeous honestly I love working with dough it's my favorite so we're just popping this out into a rectangle being nice and gentle with it um, because the yeast it's done its job it's um, fluffied up the dough I don't want to press all of the life out of it. Okay, so first step. In here I've creamed some brown sugar, butter and cinnamon and the exact quantities are going to be in the story but it's um, 125 grams of butter, 125 grams of brown sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're going to spread this over our sweet dough. Going all the way out to the corners so that everybody gets the deliciousness. Next, I've got a packet of walnut crumbs and this is 125 grams. Just sprinkle these all over. Again, making sure it's nice and even. Don't want somebody to get a stack of um, almonds or sugar or apples and somebody left with none. And now we've got um, regular pie apples. So these are the ones that come in the can. Um, they don't have anything else added. There's no liquid. 
if there is any liquid, we make sure that we don't get it onto our scrolls because we don't want um, soggy scrolls. Okay, now if we're going through them and we can see some that are a little bit thicker, we do want to just slice them um, because, um, again, it's going to be um, a bit overwhelming to have a big bit. But mostly, they're a good size. So we just pop these over the top. So this is 350 grams of pie apples, in case you're wondering, but all the details are going to be in the notes below. Okay, now I'm not sure if you can see, but I haven't gone right to the end with the apples. And the reason for that is because we need to roll it up and we want to have an end that's easy to fold over without coming undone because of too much filling. So here we start, I'm going to start at this end closest to me and we just lift this up and start rolling. So we're rolling from the widest end being not going that way, but the widest. It can be a bit rough, nothing's going to go wrong with this at this stage. Okay, and once we get to the end, you can see if I had put apples here, they would have been uh, pressing out, it would have been a bit awkward. So now we just lift this over. Just for ease, I'm putting the seam side down. We want our scrolls to all be roughly the same width because then they'll cook at the same um, rate. So there we go like that. Okay, now, you can use a knife, but I have a piece of string here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I do. I should have chosen a different color string, but this is just white. So you can use a knife and then you would just cut down, but um, it does squash them, but if that's what you want to use, that's fine. They will um, puff back up when you proof them. But we can just go through like this to about the halfway mark, cross over and there we go. So we'll just cut that in half. Then in quarters. Sliding that under again. And it's so simple to do a nice clean cut. And then this side, it's about half. There we go. It's mostly even, not exactly even, that's okay. So we've greased our um, dish and we're just going to place these scrolls. How gorgeous are they, honestly? So this recipe honestly could not be any easier. Putting them all in place. And the last one goes in the middle. Beautiful. Okay, I just want to show you this. So these are my scrolls. <laughs> They're sliding a bit because I've got it um, tilted. Now you'll see the middle one doesn't touch, that doesn't matter. They're all going to um, have a few minutes um, proofing before they go into the oven and then they'll all smoosh together. Now, if I had a bigger circular dish, 
I would definitely have used it because these are actually already touching and um, ideally um, when you put these in they should have just a little bit of space between each because they still have a lot of proofing to do and they still will break. So even though I don't have a big enough container, these will still be fine. They just would be prettier if they could get their own round shape, whereas these are gonna all mush together. They'll still be nice and they'll still look pretty, um, but you know, be better if they were a little bit separated. But there we are. And I am gonna cover these with a tea towel, leave them somewhere warm, and I will be back to show you how they turn out. Okay, here are our scrolls. Now they're finished proofing. I could leave them a bit longer and they would puff up further, but like I said previously, there's really not enough space in this dish for them to go much further than this. Um, so I'm just gonna pop them in the oven. Okay, and while these are cooking, we will make our glaze, the maple syrup um, icing that I'm using. So we're just pouring some maple syrup into icing sugar. And just going through and combining. So that looks about right to me. We're just gonna use this then to swirl on the scrolls as they come out of the oven. Okay, so we're ready for the final stage of our scrolls. So they've just come out of the oven and they're looking big, beautiful and delicious. They've um, been sitting on the bench now, so they're still warm, but they're not hot. I'm just going to swirl around some icing on each one. Okay, and there we have it. Delicious apple and cinnamon scrolls all ready for afternoon tea. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Happy cooking. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I've inspired you to create something different with your Thermomix. Please make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel for more great recipes.